I'm glad she's got a camera. I'm glad uh, people know they're being watched. This is a homeowner's nightmare. This security video shows this guy lurking in the backyard. In fact, it looks like he's taking pictures of doors and door locks. Our David McAnally says people living near 62nd and Keystone are now seeing and sharing that video. At her home sweet home, something sour going on. I got a notification on my phone uh, that somebody was at the front door. With her home security system, Chris Gregory was then able to get a look at the visitor. This guy had come to the front door first, and then he left. There he is, a man in a ball cap. Is he headed to that car on the street in front of her neighbor's driveway? And then I got a notification that there was somebody, that motion had been detected at the back door, or the, you know, in our backyard area. Now he turns up on the backyard camera. But what Chris sees next really bothers her. When he went around the back, it appeared that he had his phone out and he was either taking a photo or a video of our back door, the, the door that leads into our garage. And then he saw the camera. You, you kind of saw that he looked up, he saw the camera, and then he backed up out of view of the camera. So why would this guy, totally uninvited, in the middle of the day, go not only to the front door, but out to the back of the house? Why would he be there? What would he be looking for? It kind of appeared like he was, you know, casing the joint. That was the part that I found to be most disturbing and, and a little suspicious. Other neighbors like Ben are seeing the video shared on neighborhood social media sites. It's definitely scary, um, alarming. He feels it's a safe neighborhood, safer when neighbors can share these videos. When John sees the images... I don't hey. like it. I don't. It's not right. He's got no business being on someone's personal property. He's seen all those porch pirate videos. He's glad the videos are out there. If you're thinking you're getting away with something, you're not because you're being watched all the time. They say if you recognize the person, spread the word, notify the police, and keep neighbors informed. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.